What is up, Kayak Fishing Nation? I just wanted to come to you uh, because I've been getting some questions on the email about what kind of gear I was using this year offshore and uh, what kind of lines I was using. And uh, basically a year in review, I learned a lot this year that uh, basically um, you don't have to have fancy gear out of a kayak and you don't have to have huge gear, gear out of a kayak. I mean, this year I caught everything from tarpon to kings to mahi to... Uh, redfish, you name it, I've caught them all. I, I caught a lot of different fish from my kayak and basically um, for the tarpon, what I was using is basically my uh, Pen 850 right here, old school style. Um, loaded up with some 50 pound Cast King braided line. Um, the Cast King held up really well this year. I'm probably going to re-spool it again here pretty soon. It's lasted about about eight or nine months and it's still going strong. And uh, my other big reel uh, is just a uh, an old Jigmaster I got off of eBay for like 11 bucks. It's a Penn Jigmaster 500. Loaded up with 50 pound Cast King and I uh, can't really show it to you very well because the, the rod's hitting the ceiling. But they both have tiger, um, tiger stick, ugly stick rods, which work amazing. I got both of them for like 50 bucks a piece and stuck them on these reels. And then 50 pound casking braided line. And, and I mean, I hung a, I fought a, 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 bull, a bull shark the other night that was probably seven feet long for like two hours. And... I was putting all the pressure I could on the shark and the line still didn't break. Um, you know, really 50 pound line is overkill in a kayak because you can't put that much pressure on them. I mean, heck, Keith Morrison uses 30 pound mono on his tarpon videos. Like if you saw the couple of tarpon uh, videos on my channel, it was he was using 30 pound uh, mono and was getting them in no problem. Yeah, um, both the, the pin uh 850s and the Jigmaster 500s are plenty big for offshore but i haven't felt outgunned at all out there not at all um basically you got enough line capacity to let anything run uh you got heck i think that that jig has got like 450 yards of line on there not all braid you know it's like half spool 25 pound mono and then probably 250 yards of braid and then the 850s probably got maybe 300 yards of braid, but I've never been anywhere close to being spooled, and I've caught smoker kings and big tarpon. So, um, yeah, if you're looking for a cheap way to go, just grab you a Jigmaster or a Pen 850 and throw a ugly stick rod on there, some, some braided line, and, and just rock it out. I mean, you shouldn't have any problems unless you're, like, trying to catch grouper off the bottom or something, but I don't really do that, so... Yeah, shoot me. If you've got any questions, shoot them to me, and uh, I'll answer them the best I can. So check out the Facebook page, Jack Motley, and the Instagram, Jack Motley, and I will see you later.